right, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at the unit circle again, okay? And we're talking about some specific things about the unit circle. First, the equation is of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals 1. And we are going to talk about that more um, when we go into our special unit on circle, okay? But this is a unit circle. All right. The x-coordinate of a point on the unit circle is the cosine. It is the cosine, okay? Where theta is measured as the rotation from the center, this degree, um, from the positive x-axis to the radius that contains that point, okay? So it is, cosine is also known as, please write this in, cosine of theta is known as adjacent over hypotenuse. And then we have the y coordinate is the sine, where theta is measured of rotation from the center 0, 0, from the positive x axis to the radius that contains that point abbreviated as sine 0. It is called sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? And we're finally, we're going to talk about another one that's not written up here. We're going to talk about tan or tangent. Okay? Tangent is tangent is y over x. Okay, it is the opposite over adjacent. Tan of theta is opposite over adjacent. Okay, we haven't talked about this one yet. We're going to talk about it today. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Not be turning your calculator right now. We're not going to be using it today. Okay. We need you to be writing this down. Too. Okay, let's turn it over. Okay, we are going to look at some examples and we're going to talk about the cosine, sine, and tangent of this. Okay, so this is the cosine of 130. 130 is not one of the numbers on your unit circle for a reason, okay, because I want you to do kind of a generalization of it, okay? We're finding the cosine of 130 degrees, okay? What would the cosine of 130 degrees for this unit circle of one be? Cosine is which one? X, Y, or a combination? X. So it's X over one, okay, because so the hypotenuse is going to be all right, what is the sine of 130? Y over 1. And finally, what is the tangent of 130? We just learned about this one. Y over X, good. Okay, so the new thing we're going to learn with this next one is if we've got a negative number, we can take 360 minus 75, and we get that the positive answer is 285, okay? So we can use 285 or negative 75 for this, but I'm going to just use 285. The cosine of 285 is going to be what? Cosine is always x over 1. Okay, what is the sine of 285? Y over 1. And finally, we're going to do this one more time. What's the tan of 285? Y over X. Okay, good. Now we're actually going to do those for the bottom ones. Okay. We're going to use that unit circle. Okay? So if you don't have your unit circle out, I'm going to ask you guys questions, so you should have it out in front of you. Okay, let's look at these special cases. We're going to find the cosine, sine, and tangent of 60 degrees. What's the cosine of 60 degrees? Look at that unit circle. What's the cosine of 60 degrees, guys? Looking at your unit circle. One half. What is the sine of 60 degrees? It is the y value, so if you're looking at 60 degrees on your unit circle, what's the y value? 
Perfect. Okay, now the, here's the hard one. Tan of 60 degrees. The tangent of 60 degrees. We're going to take the y value, square root 3 over 2, over the x value, 1 half. Well, we can't have a fraction over a fraction. That doesn't really work. So we have to simplify it. Okay? So we take square root 3 over 2 times the reciprocal, 2 over 1. Okay? We get that 2 over 2 gives us 1, right? So we can just change those to 1. So we're going to end up with the tan of 60 is square root 3. All right, let's look. We're going to do the same thing, but with 45 degrees. What is the cosine of 45 degrees? Square root 2 over 2. What is the sine of 45 degrees? Square root 2 over 2. Good. What's the tangent of 45 degrees? Square root, two. square root 2 over 2 over square root 2 over 2. What does this equal? 1. Right? Because if I have 2 over 2, that gives me 1. So square root 2 over 2 over square root 2 over 2 is just 1. Okay. Before we move on, we are going to redo our unit circle. So many people's unit circles are a hot mess. You lost them. You don't know where they are. They're only half completed. They're so messy you can't read them. So we are going to do a new unit circle right now together. It's going to be much quicker than the last one because we're not going to be tracing the triangles and all of that. But I do need you to keep up and definitely ask me to slow down if I need to. But I want you to get this new unit circle down. I think this will be clearer. And remember... You need this for your next quiz and your final exam, okay? It's very hard to do if you don't have this because otherwise you have to have it memorized. Okay, we're going to start right here. This is 0 degrees or 360, depending on if you're staying here or going all the way around, okay? It is 1, 0. The x is 1, the y is 0. Next, we go to 30 degrees, or if we go 360 minus 30, we get negative 330 degrees. I will put negatives on the quiz, so that's why I'm having you write them down, okay? Because it's way easier than subtracting each time to figure it out, okay? It is square root 3 over 2 and 1 half. Okay. Next, we have 45 degrees. If we go 360 minus 45, we get negative 315 degrees. And that's square root 2 over 2. Square root 2 over 2. Okay. Next, we have 60 degrees, or negative 300. And that's 1 half square root 3 over 2. And then we've got, this is 90 degrees, or negative 270, and it is 0, 1. How are we doing so far? Am I going too fast? A little bit? Okay. Did we miss any of this? No. 45 degrees and negative 315 degrees is square root 2 over 2. Square root 2 over 2. Any others that we're missing, or can I keep going? Good? Okay, I'm going to try to go slower. This is 120 degrees, or if you go 360 minus 120, you get negative 240 degrees. And it is negative 1 half square root 3 over 2. Okay. Next, we get 135 degrees, 
or a negative 225 degrees. And that is negative square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2. Next, we get 150 degrees. It's negative 210 degrees. And that's negative square root 3 over 2, positive 1 half. Three over two, positive one half. Yes. Negative two twenty-five. Yes. Next, we get a hundred and eighty, or a negative one eighty, and it's negative one zero. Okay, we're halfway there. I'm going to move it up. Okay. This is 210 degrees or negative 150 degrees. It is negative square root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. This is 225 degrees, negative 135 degrees, and it is negative square root 2 over 2, negative square root 2 over 2. Next we've got... 240 degrees, negative 120 degrees, and it is negative 1 half, negative square root 3 over 2. We've got 270 degrees, negative 90 degrees, 0, and negative 1. Everybody okay with this? Can I keep going or you need a second? Okay, I'm going to keep going. The next one is 300 degrees or negative 60 degrees. And it's 1 half negative square root 3 over 2. I've got 315 degrees, negative 45 degrees, and it's square root 2 over 2, negative square root 2 over 2. I've got 330 degrees, or negative 30 degrees, and it's square root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. And finally, it could be 0 or negative 360 as well. Could be 1 comma 0. All right, you feel like this is a little bit neater, clearer? Yes. Have what you need on it? Okay, there's three more things I want you to put on it today. We may add more tomorrow and Thursday, okay? These are like in the corners. So you want to put this in one corner. You can put it in the bottom. I would leave the bottom. We might need more space later. I would put this information right here. Right small. Cosine equals x over 1 or adjacent over hypotenuse. Sine equals y over 1 or opposite over hypotenuse. And finally, tangent equals y over x, or opposite over adjacent. Okay?
All right. Let's look at this homework. We're going to look at number one right here. This is 30 degrees from 180. So how many degrees is that? 180 minus 30 is 150. So I look at my sheet, but notice this is four times as big. Okay? So it's not square root 3 over 2. It's 4 times square root 3 over 2. And it's not... One half, it's four times one half, okay? So that's negative two square root three, comma two, because negative four square root three over two becomes negative two square root three, and four divided by two becomes two. They're four times as big, okay? So be careful of those. All right, we are gonna do a tangent problem from the next one, we're gonna do the tan of, let's see, how about 90? 90, sure. Number four, tangent of 90. Okay, so I'm going to look on my paper. I'm going to go to 90 degrees. Now, I remember that tangent is y over x, right? Yeah. So the tangent of 90 is 1 over 0. So 1 over 0 is? If zero is on the bottom, we have it's called undefined. Okay. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have the rest of the time to work on those two homework assignments. You have two sheets. They should have been done back to front. Sorry about that.